Hello and welcome to another Facebook Live uh, from my page. Uh, I'm Kellett Broomhead and I help people who want to quit their nine to five for good and create a business doing what they love. And over the last month or so, um, I've been um, particularly focusing my attention on people who are just getting started. Um, so if that's you, then this Facebook Live um, is for you. Um, but I'm not going to get started just yet. I'm going to hang around for a minute or two just to see if there is anyone who wants to hop on live. Um, and I'm also going to check that I am actually live. There I am. Uh, I can see someone's joined live. Say hello. Give me a wave. And oops, I thought I'd vanish for a second. No, I'm there. It's still live. That's good. Um, so, hey, Joanne, nice to see you. Um, so I'm just hanging about for another minute to see if anyone else hops on live. I suspect I've picked a slightly tricky time, certainly here in the UK with it being kind of Friday night um, and everyone's probably got plans. But um, anyway, so, so yeah, so, so basically um, over the last um, two to three weeks or so, I've been focusing a lot on um, helping people who are just getting started because um, I think in many ways that's, that's the hardest time um, in business. Um, you feel... Um, a bit out of your depth. There's so much stuff that you know that you've got to do. Um, a lot of stuff that you probably don't know yet um, that you've got to find out. Um, there's a lot of um, confusion. Perhaps you're not yet quite fully clear on on exactly what it is you want to do. So there's a lot of that trying to get a bit clearer, trying to get some clarity around what your purpose is going to be, be um, who it is you want to serve, and so on. Um, and so. Um, that's been my focus over the last few weeks is to try and kind of give, get a few resources together to really kind of help people who are just in those early stages. Um, so as I say, if that's you, then this should help. I think I've hung around for a couple of minutes now. Um, so I'm going to make a start. Um, so this, um, this live is all about giving you some priorities. So um, Basically, you can get a bit of focus if you are just starting out. So whether you're still coming up with an idea for your business um, or whether perhaps you've got your idea, but you haven't got around to sort of really getting set up yet, or perhaps you're even just getting started, getting set up, um, but you're still in the early stages of your online business. Um, perhaps you kind of fully recognize that feeling of being slightly overwhelmed by what you've got to do, overwhelmed by all the information out there, all the different voices telling you, um, and I'm not talking voices in your head here, but like online voices um, telling you all the different things and strategies that you should be focusing on. Um, it can be completely overwhelming. And probably if you're just starting out, you're also still working a nine to five. Um, and so you've got your actual um, job to contend with, potentially family, other commitments, perhaps even trying to have, you know, a bit of a personal life as well. Um, so there's a lot going on. And I totally get that because I've been there and I understand how completely um, overwhelming that can feel sometimes. So what I want to do is to give you some key priorities that can give you some focus. So instead of this kind of hot mess of stuff that you feel like you've got to do, you've got um, five, in fact, priorities you can kind of work through, which will give you those key foundations that you need um, to give you kind of a real strong start so you can then start to move your business forward. So without further ado, um, oh, actually, one more thing. Sound like Columbo then. Uh, one more thing. Um, if you would like to subscribe for my Facebook Lives um, so that you get a reminder each time I'm going live, um, then just type reminder into the comments. Um, and that should hook you up to uh, my messenger service that sends out reminders um, so that you, could, you won't miss another live. Um, I should be going live pretty much at least once a week in my page. And I always go live at least once a week in my group business class as well. So if you're not already a member there, um, uh, then do come and join us. So. Without further ado, I will now get started going through those five basics um, that you need, those five key priorities that you can focus on when you're just getting started to give you those strong foundations in your online business. So priority number one is your mission statement. Now, your mission statement 
um, can mean any number of things. And there are many blog posts, um, even books written on the subject of writing a good mission statement. But in simple terms, and this is all about keeping things simple, keeping things nice and easy, no overwhelm, no, you know, confusion, no complication. Let's keep things simple. So in a nutshell, your mission mission statement needs to include the answers to these three questions. If you have a pen and paper to hand, write this down. So number one, you need to understand your business purpose. What is your business there to do? Number two, who is your business there to help? So who are your ideal clients? Um, and the natural urge here is to try and make that as broad as possible. You know, well, I can help everyone with this service. You know, everyone would be able to benefit from this. I encourage you to resist that urge and to get as specific as possible with your ideal client. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little, uh, I always say tell you a story, it's not a story. I'm going to give you a little uh, analogy. Um, and if you've watched any of my other Facebook lives, the chances are you may well have already heard this because it's one of my favorites and I use it a lot. But I use it a lot because I think it's really helpful in driving home this point. So imagine you're getting married this year and you're looking for a wedding photographer and you find a couple of options to choose from. So as you always do, you know, as we always do, you go and do a bit of research on their website. So you go to option one and you have a look at their website and you can see they do weddings, they do family portraits, they do babies, they do pets, um, a jack of all trades. Uh, so then you go and take a look at uh, option number two and option number two, their website, um, it is purely weddings. That's all they do. Weddings are their passion. Um, that's what lights them up. Um, the site is full of tips and tricks on how to take, you know, how to um, look good in a wedding photo, how to feel comfortable having your photos taken, how to get the right lighting for wedding photos and so on and so forth. Who are you going to choose? I would say chances are you're going to go with option two. You're going to go with the wedding specialist. You're going to go with the person whose passion is weddings. Because if you're looking for a wedding photographer, who cares whether they do babies, pets, family portraits? That's not what you're interested in right now. And the same applies for your business. And when you're coming up with your mission statement, your purpose and your ideal client, you don't need to go broad. You need to go specific, especially when you're just starting out. You don't have visibility yet. You don't have reputation. You don't have testimonials. You don't have social proof. You're starting out with nothing and so you need a strong hook and the more specific your purpose is the more specific your ideal client is the stronger that hook is to lure them in and to start to grow once you get bigger you can start to get a little bit more less specific um, and you can kind of spread your wings a little bit more um, but for now when you're starting out Get as specific as possible. Fight that urge to try and please everyone and just find your little corner and work on that. So that is point number one, your mission statement. Answer those three questions. What is my purpose? Who am I here to help? And what are the results? I don't think I ever actually got to the third question, did I? Um, so basically, third question is, what are the results I'm going to bring about? So the problem, what is the problem I'm solving? Who are the people I'm helping and what are the results I'm going to give them by, by doing that? Um, and if you can answer those three questions, you've got a pretty good mission statement. Um, so that is priority number one. And definitely make that number one, because without that, without that clarity, without that understanding of what you're there to do, who you're there to help and why, the other points that I'm going to cover will be 10 times more difficult. So focus on this first. Get clear as clear as you can on this first. You may not be able to get as clear as you'd like. Get as clear as you can for now and then move on and clarity will come. I didn't get really clear on what I was doing until about six months into my business. Um, and it looked completely different to what I started out doing. Um, I, did, I did a pretty big um, change. Um, but I started and I never would have got to 
where I am now if I hadn't started doing what I did at the, you know, six months beforehand. So um, do what you can come up with now and then start. That's point number one. Uh, point number two um, is um, minimum viable product. So you're a business, you need to sell something. Um, now, the stress here is on minimum viable product. Again, don't wait till it's perfect. You'll probably never feel fully happy that your product or service is perfect. Um, and if you wait for that, you, you'll be stuck going nowhere for a very long time. Um, so what you need to go on is what it is you're selling. What is the product or service that you are selling to your customers? What does it do? What does it help them with? What are the practicalities of it? How will it be delivered? What is the cost? Um, what does it look like? Get a clear on that. Create your package, whatever that may be. Um, and once you've got it in a position where it's ready to go, do it. Even if it's in its most basic form, get it out there and then you can start to tweak it and change it and learn from the process because that's the best way that you can get your product or service to the perfect point you're wanting is by actually learning by doing, by getting it out there, getting feedback, experiencing it, having your customers experiencing it, tweaking, changing and gradually um, developing it that way. So minimum viable product, get it out there and then go through that learning, testing, tweaking phase and gradually it will grow and grow and grow um, until uh, you, you have your perfect product or service. So that is priority number two. Priority number three is a website. Um, and um, there are a few reasons for this. So I, I should start by saying that there is definitely an argument out there, um, a very valid argument that says you don't need a website. Um, and certainly not when you're getting started. You can start with a social media channel. Plenty of people kind of build a business through Instagram, through Facebook or um, any other YouTube and so on. Um, and that is a very valid argument. Um, I, however, believe that a website is your best um, and the sooner you can get started on it, um, the sooner you start to kind of build that website's um, authority, um, SEO um, is strengthened the longer a website has been li live and active. Um, so um, I do believe um, that getting a website up and running as soon as you can um, is a good thing and something that you should focus on. Um, it, it can sometimes feel daunting and the sounds of setting up a website can feel like really technical. And if you're not technical, it can just feel like no idea where to start. Um, it isn't. It doesn't need to be. These days, getting a website up and running, it's super simple. If you're using a service like WordPress, you can get a website up and running in no time at all. <clears throat> so please don't be put off um, by the technical side of it. These days, it really isn't that difficult neither does it need to be that pricey either so don't let these things put you off um, your website doesn't need to be perfect and I hope you're seeing the theme in these three priorities none of this needs to be perfect um, one of my favorite sayings at the moment is done is better than perfect and it's so true it just needs to be out there and gradually you know you'll tweak it as you go you'll make changes if I look back again my the website that I started out with is completely different looking um to the one that I have right now um but I got it out there and I I tweaked and I changed as I went and you kind of you learn by doing and from the experience that you get from actually taking action so the reason that I believe that a website should be a priority um, while, yes, you can build a business through social media, um, you will never own that platform. Um, you, you know, should Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or whoever change their algorithm one day, um, you could suddenly find your business in real trouble. Should one of those social media channels disappear completely, um, so does your business, so does your audience, um, so does all that hard work that you've put into it. Um, so your website is your base. It's your online home. And yes, those channels are helpful. And I definitely recommend using social media. Um, but I also recommend having that website as your base, as your platform. Um, it gives you credibility as well. So going back to my um, wedding photographer analogy, um, and I mentioned, you know, what is the first thing that you do when you're looking for a, a, a product or a service and you're, you know, you're deciding whether to work with someone? Generally speaking, you go and you check out their website. 
And if a company doesn't have a website, that can sometimes lessen its credibility, even if it's not um, fairly so, um, you know, the business might actually be incredibly um, credible, professional and so on. But without that website, it makes it difficult to do those checks and to give people peace of mind. So a website helps to give you that credibility as well. Um, there are so many other reasons I could be here all day blogging. You know, if you've got a website, you can you can blog through your website as well. And I am very passionate about the power of blogging for business and um, the power it has to build your audience, build your credibility, to give real value to your potential customers. Um, it is such a powerful tool um, and done through your website even more so. Um, again, there are other um, channels that you can use for blogging, you know, Medium and all that kind of, uh, all of those um, channels. But through your website, it's yours, it's your base, it's your platform. Um, and yeah, I just think it's so worth it. So I'm going to stick to my guns and say website, priority number three. Priority number four, let me just check. I'm just wanting to check that I'm still, I'm still here. Yes, there I am. Okay, priority number four. If you're watching this in the replay, do feel free to say hey, ask me a question if you have any. And don't forget, if you do want to subscribe for reminders um, for next time I go live so that you don't miss uh, any of my lives, uh, then just type a reminder in the comments and you'll be locked up. So priority number four. Priority number four is an email list. Uh, or an email service, should I say. Um, so um, I um, my background actually is email marketing. When I was in my corporate role, my last role uh, in corporate was uh, working in email marketing. Um, and I am a huge believer that um, email is a key tool when it comes to really building relationships. So yes, your website, your blog and social media is a great way to kind of increase your visibility, get your business out there, reach more people. Um, but getting people to notice you is one thing, but there is there are more steps to getting them to actually buy from you. And those steps are getting them to like you, to feel like um, they know you more and to feel like they trust you. And email is a great way to achieve those steps because, um, A, you reach more people with email. Um, yes, you know, not everyone opens them. Yes, not everyone will get them. But you're going to hit more people than you will with a social media post. Um, and it stays in their inbox. They can go back and read your email um, whenever. Depending on the social media channel, the life of your posts can sometimes be very short indeed. Um, so email is another really powerful tool. And your email list will be one of your business's greatest assets. So again, the sooner you can start building that list, um, the better for your business. And so many business owners that I've, I've seen interviews with or I've spoken to um, have said that they wish they had started building their email list sooner than they did. Um, so, you know, you have that wisdom now. Um, go build your email list and get started as soon as you can. And my final priority is social media. So I've mentioned it a few times in my other priorities, but yes, if you're building an online business, then of course, social media um, is going to be a key strategy for you. Um, it is a way, as I've said before, of um, increasing your visibility, of getting your name, getting your business, getting your brand out there, getting your message out there. Um, it's a way of building relationships. It's a way of creating community. Um, there are so many things that you can do with social media um, that you absolutely should make that one of your first priorities um, to get your business page set up um, and to get set up on your social media channels. Now, I caveat this point um, with, a, with a, a word of gentle warning, and that is to say, don't try and be on all of the channels right from the get-go. Um, there is no faster way to feeling completely overwhelmed and to getting nowhere very quickly. Um, the reason for that, again, it's that kind of instinct to try and spread your wings as wide as possible, to reach as many different audiences as possible. Um, and, and yes, that kind of makes sense. But in reality, 
It doesn't work that way. You are, we've already talked about it. You're currently having to focus on getting set up. You're having to still work a nine to five. You've got all your family responsibilities. You've got a lot to do. You're busy. And if you're trying to build an audience on five, six different social media channels, you are going to completely burn out and you're going to get nowhere. Um, imagine the momentum you would get in just one or two social media channels if you put all that same effort into just those channels instead of spreading it across you know five or six different ones pour your efforts into definitely facebook get your facebook business page set up and potentially a group um depending on i mean you definitely want your page there because that's you're going to need that for things like facebook ads for all sorts of different things and um, it's not what it was um a while ago for for engagement and it's quite difficult to, to grow without paying for it but you need it nevertheless. So get your Facebook page set up, get your Facebook page linked to your personal profile, um, something that I completely forgot to do for quite some time. So don't you make the same mistake that I did. Um, that way, when people are going to check out who you are, it's nice and easy for them to then click through to your business page. Um, if you're looking to build a community, a Facebook group is a great way to do that. Um, so make sure you're, you're working right from the get-go on building a presence on Facebook. And then, I mean, Facebook itself is, is, is plenty, but if you want to go one other channel, go one other channel and um, think about where your um, ideal customers hang out. Think about where you already feel comfortable yourself, perhaps where you already have a bit of a following um, and go, go with your gut there. Um, but definitely Facebook and perhaps one other. But don't spread yourself too thin. Once you've got some momentum, once you've got a following there and you can, you know, and you're no longer having to worry about getting your website set up and all of those other things, Feel free to then kind of spread your wings a bit more. But for now, when you're just getting started, keep life simple for yourself. Don't make don't make life too complicated. You will get so much more momentum, so much more kind of forward movement um, if you put all your efforts into just one channel instead of trickling it out into 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 many. Um, so those are my five priorities for you if you were just getting started. I shall whiz through them one more time. We have priority number one, which is your mission statement. And that needs to come before anything else. Understand what your business purpose is. What are you there to help with? What problem are you there to solve? Who are you there to help and be as specific as possible? And what results are you going to bring about by solving that problem? Answer those three questions and that will give you an excellent mission statement. Priority number two was your minimum viable product. So getting something out there, you need to sell. This is a business. You've got to have something to sell. Work out what that is. Work out what it looks like, how much it costs and get something out there. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just get something basic out there and you can work from there. Priority number two was your website, your online home, your online base, um, which will give you more credibility um, and it will um, give you a point of, of contact. It will give people to come and check you out. Um, it will give you a platform to share your, your blog, your um, brand and so on. So your website is priority number three. Priority number four was your email list. So the key way to really start to in your relationship with people, with people um, who, you know, they may read a blog post. How do they take it to the next level? They sign up for your email list. And that's where you can then start to build a relationship. You can start to help them to get to know you and your business better. And then priority number five was social media. Social media helping you to increase your visibility, to start to build community um, and to start to get yourself out there. So I hope that was helpful. Do let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you disagree with any of my priorities. Um, or let me know, just if you're there, say hello, uh, whether you're watching live or the replay. And final reminder, if you want to sign up um, for reminders for um, my future live Facebook Lives, um, then just type reminder into the comments um, and you will then subscribe um, to my message service, which sends out reminders every time I'm going live. With that, have a wonderful weekend and I shall see you next week. Bye.